Hi, my name is Atya. Welcome to PhD Premier, where we discuss about mindset, PhD, different entrance exam, everything that connects you and me. So last week I had done a video on GATE 2024, eligibility, how to apply, everything related to it, the different clauses, the registration fees, and what all needs to know. So if you have clicked on this video because of the title, then I would suggest watch that video and then come over here. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is to take you through the registration process, application process completely from start to finish. So if you have not registered for GATE, then let me tell you something that it's not that difficult and in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how to register through a screen recording and hopefully that will help you to understand the process as well as if you had any doubt with respect to center code with respect to filling the form then hopefully this video is going to help you with that so let's move to the screen recording of gate 2024 registration application procedure applying online throughout hi so this is how the website looks like this is the graduate aptitude test in engineering 2024 and now let's go to the registration portal so we have come to registration portal and it's showing login over here i have not logged in but let's go to the register here portal it's asking for few details and let me put everything in place over here. Now we have to click on the confirm button. So this is how your name is going to appear. So if you are making any mistakes at this stage, avoid it. There is a confirmation box that is appearing. You can click on continue. Once you give the confirmation, two other boxes appear which ask you to confirm your email address. So I'm going to confirm my email address over here. Let me check. You have to give your number. Then you confirm your mobile number. You give your password. You confirm the password. Then there is a small mathematical problem 7 minus 3 how much it is just enter and click on register before you register you make sure all the information that you have got through is fine your mobile number and your email address because the OTP will go over here so as you can see from here this is the login page and after we have done initial registration then you need to be carrying out these things okay so this is how the login page looks like so it will ask you for enrollment id enrollment id message has gone to your email address as well as your phone and it will also ask for a password that was used at the registration and then you have a small sum that you need to be carrying out so you get the access to the login portal so let me start filling my email address over here. Let's use the password which was used at the registration. A small sum and let's log in. So here it's showing a page which says welcome Atya Nishat Sheikh. You have the application status and they have asked to read information brochure as well as documents. So let's go through that. Make sure that whatever details you fill are in line. Let me take you through the information brochure. So from here you can download it. I have already read it. So I'm not going to waste time on this. Also the documents and data required for filling the application. 
if you have read my previous video or watched my previous video then by now you already know so these are the required documents which you need for filling up this form and then you can click on this and we are ready to start filling k 2024 application form let's go ahead so there are six different tabs over here exam personal address degree documents declaration so after the declaration part you will be redirected to a payment gateway so each thing we have to fill in properly so first we will see the exam details so i'll select one paper but you can select maximum two papers okay then you will go ahead with selecting the paper i will select biotechnology it is asking for a confirmation so you click on continue you select examination city i'll go for goa it's my native the second city i'm going to go with pune and third would be mumbai now one thing to note is that whatever you are choosing as your first preference based on that the next two examination cities will appear so if you are checking a city from rajasthan then based on that the surrounding states will appear so you be careful about what is your choice of examination city one so i have filled goa so the surrounding cities like pune mumbai and all the other cities they appeared let's save it Moving on to the next personal details, so my enrollment ID is already mentioned over here and you will cross check the name which was there because this is how your name is going to appear on your ID card. I am verifying my email address. So there are two things that you need to do. One OTP has been sent to the email address. So I am checking that and I am going to go through the email address. and do over here now it's showing error because by mistake instead of OTP I clicked on the enrollment ID so let me correct it and still I'm putting email my enrollment ID submit so it's not showing so the next thing that you can do if there is such kind of error is resend OTP so OTP sent successfully I'm now checking it I have received new OTP for this. I am taking it, copying that and pasting over here. Submit and my email address is verified. Now let me verify my mobile number. So I am putting a screenshot over here of the OTP on the message looks like. And just take that OTP and fill over here. Submit and my mobile number is also verified. Let's move on to fill in other details. You click on confirm date and it's asking for confirmation because this will be used for verifying other documents as well. Check on nationality in general. No. Select state. Goa. Valid ID proof. Aadhaar card and put the details of your Aadhaar card number I'm putting my mother's name over here you can put your guardian's name as well and you will have to give your guardians or whoever's name you have put you have to give their mobile number so the next bar that we have to cover is address for correspondence so you will get all the information over here if they have to mail you anything so let me fill in with my zip code or your pin code You can add address line to address line 3 if 
for now i am going for saving this information move on to the next one let's give the degree details let's move on to the state your college city and town will get selected based on the pin code you have then you have to put your institute registration number so whatever number is there on your id okay when i say id college id that same thing you are going to put over here qualifying degree would be for me it would be msc let's select that let me take the discipline biotechnology for now i'll go ahead with the sur and let's say for example i'll put bit scuba now for college name when you are putting make sure that there are no hyphen or anything if the college name is not appearing in the drop down menu you have to put it manually okay so make sure there are no asterisks or there are no special characters and you click on save so our college degree data is saved let's move on to the documents so first thing you are going to upload is your photo and let me take you through this so accordingly you can crop it and once you are satisfied with the result upload cropped image the next thing that you are going to upload is signature and you can click on upload cropped image now here it's showing an error because the file size is too large for this so in such cases you crop it to an extent that the file size gets reduced and then try uploading it let's see if this gets uploaded so yes my signature got uploaded now the third thing you have to make sure that it is in pdf form so whichever photo id you are uploading make sure that it is in pdf form the first two can be in photo jpg or png form but here you have to do it in the pdf form and it's asking a question how did you get to know i came to know from internet search you can also view the application for now i'll go ahead with this and here is a declaration that you have read all the criteria and you have not misrepresented any criteria so just click on i confirm and i fulfill the eligibility criteria so let's click that and e signature e signature meaning whatever name you had put while registration same name you are going to put in the same format and let's go and submit and proceed to payment now it's asking for verify application form so it a pdf will get downloaded in this case i am going ahead with submit and proceed to payment oh it's showing an error so you have to compulsorily verify your application form let's do that then submit and proceed to payment once it's done so it's asking for confirmation over here you can click on continue it's asking for confirmation again yes so it's showing a page before the redirectment to the payment gateway so you can go through all the instructions your enrollment id name of the candidate and how much fee you have to pay i have to pay 900 as a female candidate the terms of the payment everything and then at the end there is a sum so you can click on that and fill it and click on pay it's taking you to the payment gateway 
I'm not going to pay this as I'm not going to answer the exam but this is how the payment gateway looks like so for me I'm going to cancel the transaction you are going to make the payment and get back to the dashboard so for now for myself let me cancel the transaction for you it will be payment successful and make sure that after you finish this you log out of the portal that's important so log out and your registration for gate 2024 is done congratulations and i wish you all the best for your exam i hope you have had your queries answered with respect to whatever doubts you had with respect to the application procedure if still you have any doubts left then shoot it in the comments i'm looking forward to answering your questions till the next time